Welcome to our short overview of how to synchronize a generator circuit breaker with our user-friendly REX640 protection and control relay. REX640 introduces an entirely new application package concept by offering a variety of ready-made application packages to choose from. Let's have a look at one of the packages, Synchronization. Instead of a centralized dedicated synchronizing panel, REX640 supports the local operator actions from its local HMI. Remote operator actions are supported via the communication interface of the relay. REX640 can handle two different synchronizing scenarios. In this video, we focus on synchronizing a generator circuit breaker. To learn about the second scenario, synchronization of a non-generator circuit breaker, please take a look at part 5 of our REX640 how-to video series. You may prefer to use the relay local HMI in the manual mode of synchronization, for example, when your generator is connected to the network for the first time after a maintenance break. In the manual mode, you have full control and time to react if something unexpected happens. The controllable primary objects, here a generator block transformer, are indicated by a gray background square in the single line diagram. Since there is a generator in question, you cannot just close the breaker. Voltage, frequency, and phase angle across the breaker need to be matched before closing it. You can start the procedure by tapping the object in the single line diagram. Different options to do the synchronization are shown under the settings. Let's choose manual mode. Store your preference and wait for a second. Once the green S is illuminated, you can proceed by tapping it. Do you really want to synchronize? Yes. Now you have entered in the synchroscope view. From this view, you can detect that the voltage of the generator is too low. Increase it up a bit, and the green bar color will indicate that you are within the set limits. You then come to the frequency display, which shows that the speed of the generator is too high. You have to give several commands to the governor to lower the rotational speed. Once again, you can see that the bar has changed its color. Green means that you are within the set limits. Now it looks pretty good. You can start closing the breaker. Tap and hold the close button. When the relay finds the right moment in time, it will send the actual close command to the breaker. The breaker closes, as you can see now from the single line diagram. After the first manual synchronization of the generator circuit breaker, the second synchronization could be done in semi-automatic mode. In this way, you are able to check the correct operation of the voltage and frequency matching functionality within the synchronizer and still remain in full control of the circuit breaker closing command. Go to the settings, Choose Semi-Automatic Mode and Store Changes. Once the green S is illuminated, you can proceed by tapping it. The relay automatically adjusts the voltage and frequency of the generator. The green color indicates that you are within the set limits and you can start closing the breaker. Tap and hold the close button. The breaker closes, as you can see now from the single line diagram. This is the most typical operation mode. Go to the settings, choose automatic mode, and store changes. Start synchronization by tapping S and confirm. Take a look at the note, and when you are sure, Confirm that you want to synchronize. After the confirmation, both adjustment of the voltage and frequency and closing of the breaker will be managed automatically, and you will be led back to the single line diagram view. To learn more, go to our web pages or watch our videos on our YouTube channel.